Hello everybody, welcome back to another CFDs video. This video is a little bit different from the normal videos I upload because recently a lot of people have been asking me the cosmetics I use, so I figure I make a video about it. So getting right to it, starting with the Skeleton Curse. To get the Skeleton Curse, you need to reach Reputation Level 75 in Reaper's Bones and Reputation Level 100 in Servants of the Flame. Then once you've done this, you need to do the Ritual of the Flame in the Reaper's Hideout. The headpiece I use is the blindfolded skull. To unlock it, you need to complete the commendation Afraid of No Ghost, which is completed by killing another player using the ghost curse while you're wearing the skeleton curse, and it can be purchased from the bonesmith for 146,000 gold. The torso and leg pieces I use are the reaper's bones upper body and lower body. Both of these are unlocked by reaching reputation level 100 in the reaper's bones and each piece can be purchased from the bonesmith for 150,000 gold. The bone color I use is the ashen bones. To unlock the ashen bones you need to complete the commendation stories from the dead. To do this you need to complete the heart of fire telltale while wearing the skeleton curse. Once you've done this the ashen bones can be purchased for 250,000 gold from the bonesmith. The weapons I use are the Mask Renegade Blunderbuss and the Mask Renegade I have Reach. Both of these are earned from the Reaper's Bones Emissary by reaching the Keeper and Master tier by the time of the Ledger's monthly closure for the sixth time in a row. Now onto the tools I use. Starting off with a bucket and spyglass, I use both the Masked Renegade Bucket and Masked Renegade Spyglass. Both of these can be obtained by reaching the Keeper and Master tier in the Reaper's Emissary Ledger by the end of the month for the 10th time. The shovel I used is the Mask Renegade Shovel, and it can also be earned from the Reaper's Bones Emissary by reaching the Keeper tier by the time of the monthly closure of the Ledger for the 11th time. The Speaking Trumpet I use is the Speaking Trumpet of the Ashen Dragon. To unlock it, you need to complete the Tome of Fire 5 Commendation which requires you to hand in one book of Tome of Fire 5 from an Ashen Chest. Once completed, it can be purchased from an equipment shop for 3,250 gold. The Hurdy Gurdy and Banjo I use are the Masked Renegade Hurdy Gurdy and Masked Renegade Banjo. Both of these are earned from reaching the Keeper and Master tier in the Reaper's Bones Emissary Ledger by the end of the month for the 8th time. The concertina and drum I use are the Masked Renegade Concertina and the Masked Renegade Drum. Both of these are earned from reaching the Keeper and Master tier in the Reaper's Bones Emissary Ledger by the end of the month for the seventh time. The fishing rod and tankard I use are the Masked Renegade Fishing Rod and the Masked Renegade Tankard. Both of these can be obtained by reaching the Keeper and Master tier in the Reaper's Emissary Ledger by the end of the month for the ninth time. The lantern I use is the Snowburn Ship Lantern. Sadly, this lantern is no longer available and was part of a limited time event in 2022 December. And finally, the pocket watch I use is the pocket watch of the Ashen Dragon, and it can be obtained by buying it from the equipment shop for 3,950 gold. Now onto my ships. Starting out with the wheel, I use the Masked Renegade Wheel. It can be earned from reaching the Master tier in the Reaper's Bones for the third time by the end of the monthly ledger closure. The capstan I use is the Masked Renegade Capstan. It can be earned from reaching the Master tier in the Reaper's Bones Emissary Ledger by the end of the month for the fourth time. The seals I use are the Burning Blade Seals. The seals are unlocked by completing the Banisher the Spectral Flame Commendation, which requires you to defeat the Burning Blade 10 times from the Ghost Fleet World event. Once completed, it can be purchased for 49,000 gold from the Shipwright. The figurehead I use is the Supreme Servant figurehead, and it is unlocked from reaching Servant the Flame level 100. Once completed, it can be purchased from any Shipwright for 300,000 gold. The hole I use is the Masked Renegade hole. It can be earned by reaching the Keeper tier in the Reaper's Bones Emissary Ledger by the end of the month for the second time. The cannons I use are the Golden Sailor Cannons, and sadly like the Snowburned Ship Lantern they are no longer available and were last in the game in 2019. The Cannon Flare I use is the Cutthroat Cannon Flare. It can be purchased from the Pirate Emporium for 199 Ancient Coins. And lastly, the flag crest and logbook I use are from the Charred Bones Servant set. The flag can be earned from reaching class 5 in the Servant Ship Alignment. 
The crest can be earned from reaching class 40 in the servant ship alignment, and the logbook can be earned from reaching class 15 in the servant ship alignment. I hope this video was helpful for anybody who wanted to know which cosmetics I use, and I'll see you guys in the next hourglass video.